My name is Joss Dernan. I'm an archaeologist. I now live in Edinburgh, but I was born in Irvine and I, I grew up here. Irvine is a, a royal borough, so started off as a kind of med medieval town in the sort of 12th, 13th centuries. And then in the mid 20th century, in the 1960s, it became a new town. Even though it is a new town, people in, who live here might not call it a new town, but it's very much a, a mixture of kind of the old and new. I think the knee-jerk reaction in Irvine is to have quite a strong dislike of the new town and uh, Irvine becoming a new town. People really sort of fixate on the old bridge being demolished and replaced with the Mall, the Rivergate Centre. But it's kind of easy, I think, to forget all the good things that IDC did, all the kind of landscape and the road network that is, you know, much better than a lot of other Ayrshire towns. And certainly a lot of the housing that was built at the time is built in hundreds at a time, but they've, they've stood the test of time and they're really well built. There's lots of nice green space and a lot of the housing estates that were built. I think there's a lot to be said for maintaining these places and really celebrating them for what they are going into the future. I think there's a lot to learn from new towns. Uh, just the kind of bold vision that the architects and planners were trying to create for towns. You know, it was really about creating a happy, prosperous place for people to live and work in and to raise families. In hindsight, it seems almost naive in a way, some of the plans they were coming up with, and it really was a, almost a social experiment. But I think today we're, we're almost scared of having that level of ambition in town planning and, and placemaking more generally. Um, so I think in terms of yeah, the ambition that they had, there's a lot to learn from that. But maybe to temper it a little bit with 21st century sensibilities. Looking forward further into the future, 2040, uh, I'd like to see Irvine kind of really grab its recent history with both hands. You know, you can't run away from a place's history and I think if you embrace it, you're going to create a much stronger sense of place and somewhere that people are really proud to be from. That's going to have a huge part to play going forward into the future in the town.